nice shooting. Hey, I, before you make that eight, I want to learn about electronic. Cosmos, nice shot. I don't know about that, Buck Bunny, but Cosmos, come on, help me out here. What do I need to know about electronics? <laughs> Cosmos, nice triple bank on the eight. That's amazing. Come on, I'm going to put you down. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, the doc, the ghost net guy of Washington State. Of course, your co-host here is Cosmos, and he's a Netherlands dwarf bunny. Actually, he likes to be called a buck bunny. <laughs> Him and Missy, that's a girlfriend of his. Come on, you can go outside, okay? Oh, wow. And in this upcoming film short on the YouTube, we're going to title it Hot Spots 40. We're going to start off at the South Worth Ferry Dock. We're going to use some highly specialized equipment. Simrad, for starters, it has the side structure scan, also can go down to depths well over... 500 feet, although in our area of the South Worth Ferry, we're going to be targeting on the 60 to 170 foot of bottom depth, and we're going to utilize our underwater cameras, and these cameras, you know, they fly over the seafloor, I have our special lenses, and so with the Simrad showing me top side of what it's seen, and then what my cameras are showing us also, we're going to make a copy of it in a DVD format that you can order that's right, you can order that from me over here at kihokifilm.com. Just email me up. So, here's how this is all going to come together. As we travel around the Northwest, I'm going to be filming the seafloor in these different areas, and I'm going to use the Simrad. And so when I'm off of the Southworth Ferry Dock, like what you see here, and the ferry is putting out a lot of turbulence in the water with those big props, that pushes that bait up into that 40 foot of water. So when you're out there trolling around, when you see that ferry boat come in so consistently, you know that those baits are going to be forced in shallow with the current. And those fish like the bait, right? We all know that big fish eat littler fish. The Simrad is one of these units that are going to help identify some of those areas that the fish are hiding in because it shows structure, the bottom structure of what's out there. And when I get a chance to get out with my ghost net friends, haha, <laughs> Simrad again, because it's so consistent, is going to help me find these abandoned derelict nets that are killing so many of our seabirds and our marine life. So consistency is the affirmations for you YouTubers for this time consistency. You're going to earn, that's right, you're going to earn what you do from being consistent. But once you get into that habit, haha, respect comes with it. And the more you consistent you are in showing others how consistent you can be, haha, what a winning combination. And my thank you to Simrad for putting together a program that's going to help me learn more about helping you understand what's going on with the seafloor of Puget Sound and this derelict gear, abandoned ghost nets. And now that we're into the season of crabbing, <laughs> I've talked to so many crabbers. First thing they say is, well, I got my crab, but I lost three crab pots. Well, again, Simrad's going to help me out there. Cosmos, come on, man. We're going to wrap this up. Cosmos, what are you? He's getting ready. He's got a date tonight with Missy, and he's taking a nap. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to hook all this up by myself. Until next time, keep your hook sharp and your leaders clean. Cosmos, aren't you going to even help me with it? Can't you just, you know, oh, consistency. He wants me to earn it. Bye-bye. <laughs>